Don't forget to, to smash that like and subscribe button uh, at the bottom of the screen. Good evening. I'm Dr. Disrespect, and I'm playing Off the Grid, a next-gen battle royale from Godzilla Games on the Unreal 5 engine. I'm on an island called Teardrop, and today I'm trying to complete one of the narrative jobs. You know, a lot of folks this invest into a token when it's just, you know, a little video with a uh, trailer uh, for some cutscenes and other. a PDF and a website. And then, you know, some other years later, may, maybe or maybe not, that there'll be an actual game launch. Um, we, instead of going for cutscenes, went straight to a 17-minute actual Let's gameplay begin. footage trailer played by three right of the biggest streamers in the world. Amazing. That was our, that was our, hey world, you know, here we are. Uh, instead of some cutscenes and, and, and random things, we had Dr. Disrespect, Clicks and Imperial Hal actually played a game. And in our game, uh, there's, in addition to the Battle Royale component, there's all the 60 hours of storyline on both sides of the conflict. So we had, you know, some of the streamers playing on one side of the conflict, you know, completing a mission of transporting uh, an asset. And then the other team had to blow up that mission. They were playing on the other side of the storyline. Uh, and we put that out there for the world to see. Here's All the right, actual gameplay. Nothing. We're, we're not any hiding any anything. Video? This is what we're working on. This is what it's going to look like. And these are not just some cutscenes put together in a 3D, you know, video app. This is actual gameplay played by real people, providing real feedback to the game. And so right from the start, right. Godzilla said, "Hey, we want to build something that okay. regular people can play, uh, use. We want to build not a crypto shot. game, but we want to build a <laughs> regular traditional good. game." that utilizes the best nah, of crypto technology to make things better, to make things more secure, to make things more balanced from an incentive perspective with our target audience, our gamers. <clears throat> and that is what it, you know, attracted me to the project, aside from an absolutely sterile and fantastic founding team. Um, access is very, very easy. You don't need to set up a wallet. You don't need to swap any tokens. You don't need to on off ramp any fiat currencies. And you can jump right into a full-on triple A console gaming experience. You remember what it was like for the game. Gonzalez's approach to mass adoption. If a person wants to interact with the crypto economy, it's right right there for them to do so. If they never want to touch the crypto economy, they never have to, and they can have a full-on triple A console gaming experience with a free-to-download game, just like Fortnite, Apex Legends, etc. So that's, in my opinion, uh, what it will take you know, for mass adoption to happen, and I see Godzilla as being at the forefront, spearheading exactly that. And again, uh, Godzilla, I think, uh, is, is, is spearheading a completely new and uh, arguably novel approach in this space by saying that, no, you don't need to own any NFTs to play this game. It's completely free to play. There's no paywalls. There's no pay to play or pay to progress faster. Literally everyone has the same experience, but you can own your own assets. You can loan them out to friends. You can sell them on our marketplace. You can buy out of on our marketplace. <clears throat> I have kids, uh, two boys, and they loved, loved, loved playing Fortnite for a number of years. But several problems. Number one, <clears throat> they're like, I spent, you know, my Christmas money, my birthday money, etc. on these skins. I want to share that skin with my friend. I want to load in together as a squad and share my skins. Not possible. Now, after several years of, you know, not playing Fortnite anymore, they have probably a couple thousand dollars locked up of, of, of skins. They're like, can I get my money out? Right? So Godzilla says, okay, don't interact with crypto if you don't want to. But let's just say... You want to share skin with your friend and load up into a squad together. You will be able to do that. Why? Because we are utilizing NFT technology. You can move this little ID over here and then get it back again without you know, your friend running off with your skin. Uh, or for whatever reason, you move on from Battle Royale games. You want to play, you want to play something else. This is, these are all your assets. List them on the marketplace. Get all your money out. Maybe make a profit. Maybe don't. But that's up to the users in the marketplace and price discovery. But you're able to extract the value, at least, at the very least, you should be able to extract the value back out that you put in. And I think once that catches, so just to finish, and I think once that catches on, everybody will be like, it's a no-brainer, why haven't we done this? <laughs> Gamers are in general a pretty passionate, you know, audience, right? They're very passionate about what they do, they're very passionate about their games, they're very passionate about their opinions. 
And in my opinion, it's simply a lack of understanding. In some instances, just a lack of having spent enough time with this to really understand the underlying technology. And why should they, right? They just want to load in and have fun playing a game. I don't blame them. Um, and more importantly, a lack of good examples of pioneers in this industry that do the right thing. Right, so Godzilla, right from the start, said, you know what? We will not have a company store. Yeah, there might be NFT sold, you know, on the marketplace, and there might be transactions charged. And of course, Godzilla has to make sure that you know, it's, it's a financially long-term viable model that gets implemented. But right from the side, they said there will be no formal company store selling, you know, the latest and greatest, you know, skin to to to, to, to players. There will be a user-generated marketplace where user loads into the game, a gamer loads into the game, finds an asset and then can either use it for themselves, or if it's a duplicate, or they decide that they can list it on the marketplace, other gamers can buy it from them. And even then, that asset doesn't give them really any advantage per se, because everyone loads onto the island with just a pistol and nothing else. You can either go and find um, assets, weapons, cyber limbs, etc. In, you know, your journey through the island, your drop island we call it, or you can call up your loadout of previously found assets, but that's time, that's defending the position where the drop is going to happen, in the meantime somebody else might be able to find something better. So it is really, really well balanced where just because you found the latest and greatest you know, weapon uh, two sessions ago, suddenly you're going to have a huge advantage. That's not the case, right? It's, 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 it's really, really well balanced. Uh, and so I think users just simply uh, yeah, never had an example like that where field? it's done by gamers for gamers. So let's start with the fact that currently there's over 206 employees, full-time employees, and everything is being developed in-house. Headquarters in Frankfurt, an office in London, office in LA, and then Neil Bloomkamp, uh, our creative visionary director, is in Vancouver, Canada. Um, so let's start with that, right? 260 plus people, massive team, on you know, this for almost four years, self-funded. The founders put you know fifteen million dollars into the initial building of this before ever, ever, ever any money was raised from outside investors. Uh, and it's a team that not only each individual member worked on some of the biggest gaming titles in the world, but the core team itself built under the brand Crytek Kiev the game Warface. And Warface was played since 2013 by over 150 million players and made over a billion dollars in revenues and set also a Guinness Book of World Records record for most consecutive uh, players in a, in a single gaming session, um, streaming at the same time. So unheard of, like, there's not a single gaming project in crypto that is anywhere near that. But if we even switch to traditional gaming, we can't find any traditional game that has that caliber of a team. As I said, um, the creative chief creative visionary officer is Neil Bloomkamp, the you know acclaimed director behind such sci-fi hits, uh, District 9, Chappie, Elysium with Matt Damon, and most recently directed the Hollywood blockbuster Gran Turismo with Orlando Bloom that just came out in, in, in theaters. He's in charge of all of our visuals and island and story and everything else. Uh, next we have Richard Morgan, who's our, you know, in charge of all the kind of storylines and scripts and everything else. He's the author of Altered Carbon, which was turned into an award-winning Netflix show. I mean, that's the caliber of people that we have on our team. And Far Cry, Crisis, uh, Assassin's Creed, and the, the, all the top games in the world were, were worked on by one or more of, of the team members that we have on our team. So highest, highest, highest level team across the board in every single department. Godzilla Games is the company that is developing the game. The first title that will come out on console sometime early next year is Off the Grid. That's a battle royale game we're discussing right now. But there is a wallet that is already live on the iOS and Android store called GUNS, G-U-N-Z, fully running, fully operational. There's an NFT marketplace that's already fully running, fully operational. We have our own GUNS, G-U-N-Z blockchain built on top of an Avalanche subnet 
fully running and operational in testnet. We have our own blockchain scan, fully running, fully operational in testnet. We have our own node validator network, what we call them, um, NFT validators, that validate and mint all of the in-game assets, fully running, fully operational in testnet. Unheard of. All of the things are already done and running and working. And all of those uh, projects within Godzilla will all be powered by the same token. So many companies out there, right, for each different component that launch a separate token, no, it's all going to be powered by the same gun token. And, uh, you know, in addition to that, we even have already a mobile companion game out called Technical, also available for download on iOS and Android, that is part of that kind of bigger, bigger story and ecosystem. But everything is done, pretty much, and we haven't even launched a token yet, we haven't launched a project officially yet. <laughs> A very very unique for, for, for the project. We are focused on bringing the best traditional game to market on console. So that's that's the main goal, right? Um, in our opinion, that should include, and in our case, does include the utilization of blockchain technologies that make the user experience better. Starting with asset ownership to you know just having a, a, a vibrant economy around it. Um, I can't talk too much uh, in terms of the exact details of some of the you know implementations because that's the, yet to be announced. But suffice to say that those technologies, those blockchain technologies, make the experience significantly better. And you know, we're definitely a pioneer in that. You know, nobody has done that yet before uh, at this scale and, like and this launching on consoles and whatnot. Um, but we firmly believe that this will provide users a significantly better experience, not just over obviously you know, any other Web3 game out there, but absolutely also over any other traditional Web2, traditional console game out there. It's a battle royale game, um, 150 players drop onto an island, everyone with a pistol, and you know, last man standing, but with some very very unique twists number one 60 hours of storyline on both sides of the conflict uh, number two we have uh, a concept introduced where you have replaceable arms and legs and limbs <clears throat> and the limbs can give you very very specific uh, functionality it could be an energy shield it could be a rocket launcher it could be legs that make you run fast it could be legs that make you jump very high and a really really cool dynamic which was also showcased in our trailer was you can shoot somebody's limb off, go over there, detach yours, and put theirs on. And there's a ton of them in the game, even for launch. So very, very interesting, you know, unique dynamics like that that add a whole other layer of complexity and fun and excitement that currently doesn't exist uh, in Battle Royale games or really any games out there. But, you know, it is, it is uh, definitely, you know, more realistic realistically themed, so more like a war zone type environment, not Apex Legends or Fortnite, so which is a little bit more cartoony, um, but at the same time has all these other components that, that none of these games have, right? The storylines, the missions, the detachable and attachable limbs, obviously asset ownership, etc, etc, etc. And there's a bunch of other goodies that, again, Closer to launch, you know, we will announce in terms of game dynamics that we have, but it's 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 we call it Battle Royale 2.0. Like nobody's seen anything like that yet. The uh, Godzilla Games is on uh, Twitter. Uh, Gun by Guns is the Twitter for the blockchain component of the Godzilla Games, so the wallet and the blockchain and the scanner and the NFT marketplace, and you know, that's where people can kind of see where you guys can see all updates on latest announcements, what's coming out, when it's coming out, and so on. So, so I invite you to kind of follow our socials. Uh, there is also a Discord for guns as, as well as for off the grid. So you can find those all on, on our social channels. And yeah, thanks for having me and I'm looking forward to uh, everyone enjoying the game when it comes out. Anybody can play. You just gotta be brave enough to take a bullet. Kilo Kitty wants to know if it hurts. Bam! Of course it hurts. We donate a hundred grand worth of cyber limbs. But there's a chance for fame. There's a chance for fortune. I need you to take her down to Midtown Harbor. Do not stop. You can also... Oh, God. Hey, look at me. Welcome to me, fans. Click me. Like me.
I don't care. Watch me. Don't watch me. I'm over this whole thing.